military balloons throughout history. On January 28, 2023, a Chinese balloon entered American airspace in Alaska before making its way down to the United States, where it was shot down by an F-22 Raptor on February 4th. It was just the latest deployment of a military device that has been used as a staple of warfare for centuries, and one which was actually invented in China itself. Early History Coming full circle, the first ever martial use of a balloon can be traced to a Chinese general from the 3rd century called Sun Liang, or Kunming. Surrounded on all sides by the army of Sumi Yi and Ping Yang, legend has it that Liang was so desperate for a distraction that he blew up a rice paper bag attaching a lantern inside. Liang's flying lantern was mistaken for a divine light as it appeared over enemy lines causing them to flee. Although unlikely to have been invented by Kong Ming, similar balloons would be used for military signaling and communications in ancient China. Military ballooning, however, would fail to take off in other parts of the world for a millennium more and was only reintroduced in the late 18th century by the French. At the Battle of Flores on June 26, 1794, an observation balloon manned by members of the French Aerostatic Corps floated for some nine hours, relaying information about the movements of Austrian soldiers. In 1808, the same year that Major Le Mans rather overambitiously suggested to Napoleon he could invade England from the air with a flotilla of balloons, the Danes would be one of the earliest to use them for propaganda purposes, dropping thousands of pamphlets into neighboring Sweden encouraging its citizens to revolt against their king. Over the next few decades, balloons waned in popularity, but in 1830, the French army revived them briefly for its Algerian campaign, employing expert balloonist Jean Margat for the task. Shipbound for Africa, disaster struck when the barrels of sulfuric acid needed to inflate the balloon with hydrogen started to leak, resulting in a fire that caused 80,000 francs worth of damage. Marc Daw would later redeem himself in North Africa, receiving a citation of praise from the French army for flying in a balloon under heavy enemy fire. In 1849, military balloons operated by bomb-wielding pilots were used for the first time by the Austrians at the Siege of Venice, where, flying over the city, two aerial torpedo battalions released several explosives to only limited effect. Nevertheless, by 1861, the military balloon had made its way to the United States, where it became an important reconnaissance tool for both sides of the American Civil War. On September 24, 1861, Balloonist Thaddeus Lowe was able to establish the positions of Confederate troops holed up at Falls Church in Virginia, allowing Union artillery, for the first time in the history of warfare, to fire precisely on their foe without ever seeing him. Consequently, for the rest of the war, Confederate soldiers were forced to black out their camps to avoid aerial detection. To snuff out the Unionists, the Confederates formed their own balloon corps in 1862 under the auspices of Captain John Randolph Bryant. Brian was perhaps most famous for being mistaken for the enemy and fired upon by his own troops at Yorkstown, Virginia, after his balloon was cut loose to free an entangled ground crew member. Interestingly, a second Confederate balloon made from multicolored silk, believed to have been created from silk dresses donated by the ladies of the Confederacy, would become one of the most humorous Civil War myths. The triumph of the military balloon in the Civil War would have far-reaching influence, piquing the interest of the Brazilian Emperor Dom Pedro II, who, in 1867, mired in conflict with Paraguay, was able to acquire the services of veteran American balloonists the Allen Brothers. On the front lines of July 8th, and with a team of 30 men on the ground grappling with cables to keep the balloon in place, two members of the Brazilian military were able to successfully ascend to the height of 400 feet to the astonishment of Paraguayan forces and to sketch out an accurate picture of enemy lines. The Brazilians' achievement here would augur the most dramatic use of hot air balloons in the 19th century. In September 1870, at the Siege of Paris, with French forces encircled by the Prussians, a total of 102 officials, 500 carrier pigeons, and five dogs were evacuated to the provisional government in Tours. As a result, the French re-established their aeronautical corps in 1877, with other European powers such as Germany and Austria following suit respectively in 1884 and 1893, while four balloon regiments would serve in the British Army by the end of the century as part of their Boer War campaign in South Africa. World Wars During World War I, with the Germans occupying much of the high ground on the Western Front, the Allies turned to observation balloons to break the bloody stalemate of static trench warfare. While the British Field Balloon Company utilized sausage-shaped kite balloons for reconnaissance, 
the French favored a more conventional sphere, a design that was also employed by the Russians on the Eastern Front. It was only towards the end of the war, following the introduction of special incendiary machine gun bullets in 1917, that Allied pilots were finally able to shoot down German balloons, including Belgian ace Willy Coppens, who notched up a record 37 kills. In World War II, barrage balloons were most notably used as an anti-strafing measure against low-flying Nazi planes, who were forced to fly higher by balloon cables blocking their path. It was with 141 of these devices that the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion, a unit entirely composed of African-American soldiers, would save many lives during the D-Day landings. Imperial Japan were also inflatable users, most memorably sending waves of Fugo balloon bombs packed with explosives across the Pacific Ocean between November 1944 and April 1945, with the intention of setting off forest fires in North America and sparking psychological panic. With most of the balloons falling into the sea en route, the project was largely a failure. Although curiously, one of the balloons did manage to cause a temporary power outage at a Washington facility producing the plutonium that would later be used in the atomic bomb that vaporized Nagasaki. Cold War A balloon was repurposed for Project Genetrix, a classified U.S. program from the Cold War set up to spy on communists. Manufactured by General Mills, the company most renowned today for Cheerios and Lucky Charms, 512 60-meter-high surveillance balloons equipped with cameras and listing equipment were sent to China and the Soviet Union where they snapped photos of 1.1 million square miles of red territory between January 10th and February 6th of 1956. When they were discovered, the U.S. rather ironically gave pretty much the same explanation as the Chinese disclosing how it was in fact a weather balloon innocently gathering information about jet stream air currents. Peculiarly, some have even argued that the alleged UFO uncovered at the 1947 Roswell incident was merely a downed spy balloon assembled as part of Genetrix's predecessor, Operation Mogul. Furthermore, around the same time, balloons would also play an integral part in the Fulton surface-to-air recovery system designed to pick up servicemen trapped in enemy terrain. Like something out of a James Bond movie, the trooper first activated a self-inflating dirigible attached to a lift line and a harness. Then, traveling slow, an aircraft caught the floating balloon line mid-air with two tubular steel horns attached to its nose before hauling the evacuee through the air to safety. In order to test the mechanism, the system's inventor, Robert Fulton, had first tried it on a pig, which after spinning at 125 miles per hour, arrived safely undamaged and reportedly attacked the crew once it was less disoriented. Modern Usage More recently, during the Iraq-Afghanistan War of 2003, the U.S. military deployed a helium-filled aircraft called an Aerostat as part of their persistent threat detection system, which, surveying the area, was able to accurately monitor and record insurgent movements. Military balloons continue to have a place on modern battlefields such as Eastern Europe, where legions of Russian inflatables fitted with corner reflectors to mimic the radar signature of attack drones have been sent into Ukraine with the purpose of exhausting Ukrainian supplies of radar-guided missiles. So, from ancient China to the Chinese Communist Party, the endless functions of the military balloon continue to be prized. Safe to say, they won't be deflated anytime soon.